In a previous video, I tested all of the manual Forex backtesting software options out there under $500, and I picked a winner. But this year, I discovered a new software that's better than all of those options, even the winner that I picked in that test. So in this video, I'll show you why I like this new software best and how it can help almost any trader. Now, in that previous video where I compared all of the Forex backtesting software available at that time, I believe I tested about nine, eight or nine different software packages. And at the time I did pick Forex Tester as the best solution available. However, all of those software solutions that I tested, including my number one pick Forex Tester, do all have downsides. And I've been looking for solutions to these downsides. So here are the downsides that I see in existing software. First of all, there are no detailed stats. They don't have really good stats. They don't have a breakdown by month and year. And there used to actually be a website called, what was it called, F Forex Rex or Trading Rex, I think it was originally called. And that was fantastic because it was free. You could export your Forex tester data, upload it to that website, and it would give you a more detailed breakdown of that backtesting session. However, those guys at Trading Rex couldn't make it work. They couldn't make it profitable. So that website went under. Since then, there have really been no good solutions if you want to get detailed stats on your backtesting. So that's something I've been looking for. Next, it's actually hard to create automated strategies in those other software solutions. Uh, Forex Tester does have an external website that you can go to to create uh, MT4 and MT5 EAs. But with that website and many similar websites like it, like EA Builder, it's actually pretty tough to make more than a very simple EA. It just doesn't have all of the features and the inputs that you would want to actually create a fully automated trading strategy. And that's fine if you just want to be a manual trader, but many times you can create uh, automated strategies to speed up the testing process even if you're going to trade it manually. So I saw that as a big downside to existing software. Next, none of the other software solutions that I tested had building blocks. And I, I didn't actually know that this is a thing until this new software came up. I knew there were ways to speed up the backtesting process, but I didn't think of this idea of building blocks or partial automation to speed up the backtesting process even on a manual strategy. So that's a big downside to existing software. And finally, historical data in the existing software solutions can get expensive. Uh, some of those software solutions don't even allow you to import your own data. So that's not even available. But for something like Forex Tester, you're going to pay about $30 a month if you want to get the uh, professional version of the data. Or if you want the lifetime, that's going to cost $500 up front. And for most people, that's not a lot to pay for data. But maybe you are on a budget or you're just looking at Forex as something that you want to try out and you don't necessarily want to get too deep into it. So if that's the case for you, you want to spend as little money as possible. And when you have to pay for data for every currency pair that you need to test, that can get kind of expensive. So this new software solution that I found fixes all of these issues and it's called Naked Markets. If you want the link that's provided below, I'll also link to Forex Tester and the previous video that I did comparing all of the other backtesting solutions at the time. And if you do choose to buy through my links, you do get a discount on Naked Markets and Forex Tester. So that will help you get into these excellent backtesting software solutions. Now let's get into why Naked Markets is better. First of all, they provide detailed stats. This is something that I've been looking for for a long time and it's provided in more expensive backtesting software packages, but you're gonna have to pay upwards of $1,000 or more. So in the sub $500 category, it's actually kind of difficult to get detailed statistics. Almost all software solutions will give you stats like the winning percentage, um, number of losers in a row, and simple stats like that. But if you want a complete breakdown by the month and the year, as well as other key stats, and the ability to do Monte Carlo simulations, then Naked Markets is the only software solution that can do this in this price range. Next, Naked Markets gives you a ton of free data from multiple Forex brokers and for multiple markets. So where with Forex Tester, you have to pay either $30 a month or $500 up front to get the uh, premium data. Naked Markets gives you very similar data included in the purchase price. So on top of the Forex data that you get in Naked Markets, you also get data from stock indexes, futures, individual stocks, and cryptocurrencies. Now the data in Forex is really good. Like I said, you can get it from multiple brokers. And in the major pairs, it goes back to about 2003 uh, for most of those pairs. In the crosses, it'll probably be more like something like 2006. And for the exotics, you'll get less data, but that's pretty much what you get in Forex Tester also. But in Naked Markets, this data is totally free and it's included in the purchase price. This is another huge reason why I like Naked Markets. You can do fully manual testing, partially automated testing and fully automated back testing. But I haven't seen any other solution that makes it so easy to test all three types of strategies in the same software package. And I'll show you how this works in a bit, but let's get to the last point, which is 
You can also import your existing Forex tester trades into Stat Center in Naked Markets for detailed analysis. So let's say that you did a backtest in Forex tester. You got the basic stats in there, but you want to get more stats. So what you can do is just export that backtest, import that into Naked Markets, and the Stat Center in Naked Markets will give you a complete report that will give you everything you need to know about that backtesting session. All right, enough with the theory. Let's get into the actual software. All right, this is Naked Markets. It's very similar to any other trading or backtesting platform you've probably used, with one key exception, and that's this sidebar here where there are these rules. And these rules are what make Naked Markets so powerful. But before I get into the rules, let's take a look at Stat Center because this is one of the most important features in Naked Markets. All right, so to get to the Stat Center, you're gonna to go to Statistics, Stat Center, and that's gonna open the Stat Center. When you open that window, you can choose your source. So you can use a stat file that comes from Naked Markets. You can choose a statement, which is usually gonna be MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5. You can import a back test from Forex Tester, and you can even import your live trading results or demo trading results from Oanda if Oanda is your broker. Naked Markets uses the Oanda API, so it directly accesses your Oanda account, and it's read-only. It can't do any trading in there. It will just read your trades, bring it in, and provide your statistics. But in this example, I'm gonna use a back test that I did in Naked Markets. And I'm gonna use the 10 version of the backtesting rules for this example. So I'm gonna take a look at the USD CAD. So I'm gonna import that in. And as you can see already, there is much more data than you could get out of Forex Tester or any of the other software solutions. So first of all, you get the graph, then you get the breakdown by month and year, which is really important because it allows you to see what the drawdowns are like every month, what the drawdowns are like every year, and if you could live with those drawdowns. So on this screen, you get the basic stats that you would probably get with most other software solutions, except for this table down here, but you can see the profit, the balance, growth, absolute growth, and drawdown statistics. Then you get the initial deposit, max losing streak, trades, win ratio, max drawdown, profit, balance, expectancy, and profit factor, as well as growth and absolute growth on this side. Then you can go to these other tabs to get the overall stats, and this is much more detailed statistics. Then you can get symbol analysis. If you backtested multiple symbols at the same time, it'll break it down by symbol, so you can see if one symbol is doing better than others. And maybe you should drop some of those symbols and only trade the ones that do well. The next tab is the timing analysis, and that allows you to see your trades broken down by hourly, daily, monthly, and the duration. So you can see if there are any days, months, hours, whatever that perform better or worse. So the green bar shows the percentage of winning trades and the red part shows the percentage of losing trades. And if you have a high percentage of losers in one of these time periods, you might want to consider eliminating that time period. For example, uh, trades on Monday have a 44.19 win rate. So for this trading strategy, you might consider not taking trades on Monday because Monday has a much lower win rate than the other days of the week. Now that's something you would have to backtest, but by looking at this screen, you can see that information really quickly, and that's something that you can key in on. The next tab is risk analysis, and this is your probability of blowing out or your risk of ruin, and then it can also give you some MAE or maximum adverse excursion or maximum favorable excursion statistics if that information is available. The next tab is the trade list, and this will give you a complete list of all of your trades in the backtest, and this will allow you to double check your data. And finally is the Monte Carlo simulation tab, and this is super important. What this basically does is it takes all your existing trades, it mixes them up and puts them in a different order. And this will allow you to see how much variability you might see in live trading results. So for example, let's say that in your backtesting, you only saw five losing trades in a row at most. But when you do a Monte Carlo simulation and you mix up all of the trades, you might actually see 10 losing trades in a row sometimes. This information is really good to know because then you can plan for your worst case scenarios. And Naked Markets also has a feature where you can randomly skip positions. And that's useful because sometimes, especially with manual trading strategies, you miss some trades because you're cooking dinner or you were sleeping or something like that, right? So this allows you to factor that in. And I would recommend doing a 1000 simulation test then you click on launch and that will load things up, mix things up and allow you to see the simulations. All right, so this is what that looks like. And as you can see, the max drawdown would be different when you mix up the trades and it will give you these different results. And the important thing to look for here is the average drawdown. Uh, so that will show you on average with all these simulations, how many losing trades in a row or how much drawdown did you have 
And if you don't understand Max Drawdown, you can watch my Max Drawdown video here and it'll explain everything to you. All right, so that's the Monte Carlo simulation really quickly and the statistics center. And if you just key in on these stats in the Monte Carlo simulation, that will give you some good ideas of what to expect in live trading. Now let's jump over to the actual backtesting software itself and I'll show you the features. If you wanna do 100% manual backtesting, you can just move the chart forward like this and take trades manually by just entering a long or short and then putting your stop loss, you can use percent risk and you can put it in take profit. However, if you wanna speed things up, you can create these rules and the rules are available on the left side of the screen. You can create entry rules, you can create exit rules, you can create order rules and you can create setup rules. There are also core rules, which will allow you to do some very basic things, which you can plug into these other types of rules and create a more layered system. So before I get into the details, let's see this in action. So let's say that you're back testing a strategy and you're manually looking for support and resistance levels. Now, once it hits a key level that you want to trade at, you're gonna put a stop loss above or below the current candle and you're gonna set a 2R profit target. Now, if you had to calculate that manually, that would take quite a bit of time to test a strategy, even on the daily chart. So there are some built-in rules that you can start with in Naked Markets. So I'm going to go to the entry rules. I'm gonna to go to examples and then I'm gonna to go to last bar. So this is gonna be a last bar buy. I'm gonna expand this a little bit. If I can get the bounce, yeah, there you go. Okay, so last bar buy, last bar, last bar buy 2R, and then the same thing for the sell. So if I wanna set a 1R profit target, I would use that one, but I wanna do a 2R. So I'm gonna use this built in buy and sell, these two R's. So let's, let's randomly move the chart forward and then um, let's say that I wanted to sell maybe like right here, right? That could be a potential resistance level. So I would just simply click on this glass bar sell, drag it onto the chart, and now it's gonna create a stop loss above the current candle and then a take profit 2R below that. So now I can just move forward and it enters the trade and takes the profit. And then let's say that I wanted to uh, move forward manually. Let's say I wanna take a long there, right? So I'm gonna just click and drag this by, boom. It's a very small uh, stop loss, very small profit target. So I'm gonna move forward. That one didn't work out. And I'm just doing trades at random here to show you how the rules can really speed up the process. So let's say that I wanted to take a trade here. I thought this was gonna be resistance. Take the sell, drag that on there. And it simply sets a stop loss above the uh, current candle. It sets an entry here and a take profit there. Now, if you wanna create your own rules, obviously you can do that. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But these are the stock rules that you can get started with in Naked Markets. So I'm gonna move that forward and then it hits the exit and then it goes off again, right? Now, I think you can see how this one feature alone can speed up your backtesting process, even if you have a manual trading strategy. All right, now we'll get into creating the rules themselves. So in the rules, you can have a rule manager and this can be a little bit daunting at the beginning, but once you get into it, it's actually really easy to use. So as an example, let's take that Connor's RSI2 method that I backtested. I showed you the stats in the stat center. So I'm gonna show you how I built that. So in the core rules, I created one long and one short. So I'm gonna use the longs as an example, but the shorts are just the opposite, right? So I created this core rule, which says that the indicator value of the RSI has to be less than five, and the close of the last bar has to be above this moving average, which is the uh, 200 moving average, and opens trade open trades count has to be uh, zero. So I don't want this trading strategy taking multiple trades at the same time. I just wanted to check if there are no trades, then let's take a trade. If there is a trade, then it'll pass. And in Naked Markets, this rule manager or this no code system has a ton of features that you can use. So there are operators, all, all your standard stuff, and you have the price value. You can uh, set actions on these different price values. Then the, it has the uh, time values. So you can do things when bars close or if there's a time limit that you wanna set, you can use the time values for that. It also has order modification. So you can modify, close, uh, close a partial order, stuff like that. And then it has order information. So if you wanna make decisions based on open orders, you can do that also. You can look at the 
account information. So if an account balance is a certain amount, you want to take a percentage of that per trade, or you want to look at the profit or loss while you're trading, you can plug those variables in. Next is the price pattern. If you want to take a look at certain price patterns, this is really useful if you use things like pin bars or engulfing bars. Uh, you can do the engulfing bar, engulf, engulfing bar of body, and you can set the number of uh, bars in the past where you need some clearance on those bars so you wouldn't have like a, a engulfing bar right next to price action. You would have to wait a little while. You can set parameters like that. Then you can use some price breakout patterns like support and resistance. Um, of course, there are all the indicators in there that you can use and you can uh, set certain actions. So you can have a rule where you set the chart to stop when the chart hits a certain criteria. And this is really useful, especially for manual traders, because you don't have to manually measure everything. But if that criteria does come up, the chart will stop. You can take a look if you want to take a trade or not, and then you can move the chart forward. So for that, you could use pause backtest. You can also print a message and you, you can see that when it gets to the end of data, it'll print a message. And when a rule sets up, you can also see the message flash uh, on the setup. So that's how you would use that. And you can also show a message on the screen. So if you just look at this list alone, this is much more than a lot of other no code platforms have something like EA Builder or Forex testers version. Uh, this goes way beyond that. All right, now let's get back to the Connors RSI 2 example. So I have a core uh, rule that I set up. This is what that looked like. Next, I want to set up an entry rule. So I want to tell Naked Markets, what's my criteria for entering a trade? So again, here I have the RSI 2 long and RSI 2 short. So I'm going to show you the RSI 2 long. And it's simply, I want an instant order when the RSI 2 sets up. I want to take a trade of two static lots. And I want to use this exit rule, which I'll get to in a second. Now you could also set a stop loss, which I would ordinarily do, but in this trading strategy, it doesn't use stop losses. And you could also set a take profit. In the order type, you can set a pending order or an instant order, which can be a buy or a sell. And that's the entry rule. So before you create the entry rule, you have to create the exit rule. But logically speaking, it's easier to go through the entry rule first, but uh, I'll get to the exit rule here. So this is my long exit rule. So this exit rule is really simple. I am going to take the close of the last bar. If that is greater than the moving average, which is the five simple moving average, I'm going to close the order. And that's all there is to the exit. Then if there's any order management to be done, that can be done in the order rules. And I didn't have any of that for this trading strategy, so there's nothing in there. And then there's a setup rule, which basically puts all of these things together. So for this one, I did this long setup. And it's basically just taking the core rule and doing the action of the entry rule. Now, I know I went through that pretty quickly, but if you want the complete rundown on this trading strategy, you can watch this video. And in the description of the video, you can download my results and I'll show you what worked and what didn't work. All right, there's one final thing I wanna show you in Naked Markets, and that's how to piece all of these building blocks together into a fully automated strategy. Now, previously I showed you how you can use some of these building blocks to speed up your backtesting process, but what if you wanna go fully automated? All you have to do to do that is you take your setup and I have this RSI too long and this RSI too short. And you simply click and drag that onto the chart. And now that I have those two rules on there, I can just simply move the chart forward and it'll start taking trades for me. All right, so that's it. Naked Marcus is my new pick for the best Forex backtesting software available right now. Now there is one downside to the software and that is you can't import your own data into the software yet. However, like I mentioned, you have a lot of data available right out of the box. So that's not a big deal to me right now. So at this point, that's the only downside, but as you can see, this is a quantum leap in backtesting software in my opinion, and it can really speed up the backtesting process, helping you find your next profitable trading strategy much faster. If you have any questions about Naked Markets, leave it in the comments below. And if you have any other videos that you want to see from me, also leave that in the comments and let me know. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to get my new videos as soon as they're published. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.